Well, as far as outcomes go, outcomes can be defined in a lot of ways. I try to stick to certain objective parameters, and we use those uh, both preoperatively and post-intervention you know, um, on all of our patients. Uh, in fact, we're actually using um, a lot of newer technologies so that people can you know, fill out their validated scoring systems uh, remotely so it improves capture. People are doing it on their smartphones these days. These are all techniques that we are using to determine how well we're doing or at least respond to the question of how well we're doing. Some of these are validated scoring systems such as the Harris Hip score, the Womack score, the UCLA activity score. Uh, the Forgotten Hip score. There's a variety of scores out there that you can use. We've been employing a, a variety of them uh, in monitoring our patients and our outcomes. The reason to do this is so that you can improve. I mean, it's, it's so that we can continue to advance our care. I mean, ultimately, our goal is perfect function for everybody that we're taking care of. The best way to know if you're getting there is to know where you're starting. The invisible hip as a concept uh, is this idea that when you're young and you don't have problems with your hips, you don't think about your hip as you go out and you do things. You just do them, right? You go out and you kick the ball, you, you run down the street, you ride your bike. You know, as hip problems begin to introduce themselves to your life, you begin to be aware of your hip. You begin to be aware that it, it aches after activity or it, it becomes painful, there's new, new symptoms. The idea of the invisible hip was how well am I restoring that native function to the point where the patient is no longer perceiving their hip. They are no longer perceiving the pain, the stiffness. And we use that sort of as a measure of our success. How well are we getting people to that uh, degree of function? For me, that's the ultimate goal is to have a perfectly functional hip. And I know that I've won sometimes when you ask a patient, how's your hip doing? And they have to look down because they forget which side was done. That's, that's exciting.